Welcome to this video guys, let's see how we can download and install MySQL server on Windows 11 and how we can install MySQL Workbench and how we can connect Workbench to MySQL server. So let's get started. First of all, go to this URL and I'll have this link in the description below. Just click on this and you will be taken here. And here you get a bunch of options. You need to click on this MySQL installer for Windows. Click on this and you will see this. Here and you can choose your operating system. Since we are on Windows, I'll select Microsoft Windows. Here you get two options, MSI installer, that is just 2.1 MB and another one is 352.2 MB. So click download next to the one that has higher size because this is an offline installer. Click on download. Here just click on no thanks, just start my download. And your installer is now downloading. Let's wait for the download to finish. Once the installer has downloaded, just click on open file. If you are asked to you want to allow this app to make changes, click on yes. And now my SQL server is downloading. And now you will see this MySQL installer. Now we will install MySQL server, workbench and MySQL shell. So click on custom, click next. Here click on plus, click on plus next to MySQL server. And in here you can see MySQL server. Select MySQL server and click on this arrow that points to the right direction. And MySQL server has been selected to install. Similarly, click plus next to applications. You will see workbench, click plus next to workbench and move workbench to the right. Similarly, do the same for MySQL shell. And these are the three things that we need, MySQL server, MySQL shell and Workbench. Click next and now click next again. So I already had this installed. So this is saying the path already exists. In your case, you will not see this. So just click on execute. And as you can see, MySQL server is now installing. After this is done, Workbench will be installed. And then finally, MySQL shell will be installed. After all three are done, we will see how we can connect to MySQL server from Workbench. Once all of these three things are installed, just click on next and click on next. Now we will configure our MySQL server. So the config type, keep this development computer selected. Now here, no need to change anything else. This is the port where MySQL server will listen. Click on next and click on next again. Now choose a root password. Make sure you remember this password because this is the password we will use to connect to all the databases. Click check, now click on next, click next again and click on execute and all these process will be completed in a while. Now while this is processing, what we need to do is we need to add MySQL to environment variables so that we can execute MySQL commands from command prompt. So click on finish, click cancel, okay, no need to cancel, click next. And here you have two things selected that is start MySQL workbench and start MySQL shell setup. So if you click on finish, both of these two things will open. So I'll not open these two now. I'll just click on finish and I'll continue with adding MySQL path to environment variable. So go to your explorer, go to C drive, go to program files. And here you will see a MySQL folder. Go inside this, go inside MySQL server, go inside bin and copy this path. Now press your Windows key and type environment variables. Click on this, click on environment variables. In the system variables, scroll down and you will see path. Double click on this. Again, scroll to the bottom or just click on new and paste the path here. This path that we had just copied is pasted here. Click on OK, click OK again and click on OK. Now you can open command prompt by typing cmd in search bar and now we can execute mysql commands so just type mysql double dash version and as you can see now you can execute mysql commands from command prompt now let's see how we can connect to mysql server from workbench so press your windows key and search for workbench and you will see workbench 8.0 click on this and now workbench is open so i already had a local connection so it is shown here in your case this will be empty so just click on plus and now let's write first connection or whatever you want to name it and this is the default local host servers ip address no need to change anything just click in this store involved button and enter your password that you had just chosen while you were configuring your mysql click ok and click on test connection so as you can see connection was successful so after the connection was tested successfully just click on ok and your connection will be shown here click on this and you will be connected to MySQL server. And now we are inside the MySQL server. So here, I already had a old database. In your case, you will only see this SYS database, that is the system. You can do this, click this arrow next to it and see the tables in this default database. And now if you want, you can execute queries here, 
like you can write SQL commands like create database test underscore db and then you can click on this to execute this command and now click on this refresh next to it and as you can see this test database that we just created has been created now you can just select the tables inside it as you can see there are no tables you can just right click on it and click on create table and you will see this so you can just call it new table and you can create columns here so just double click here to write a column name you can write id and let's make this primary key and let's write another column name name and so on and you can just click on apply and this query will be created for creating this table just click on apply click on finish and now if you refresh this again as you can see a new table is created inside our tables in test underscore db so this is how you can install mysql server and workbench and connect to mysql server using workbench if you have any questions let me know in the comments below